Good Sunday afternoon. All right, I'm pushing this out on a Sunday when normally I would do it Monday at 8 a.m. Uh, because this week is new. We're all on a remote uh, learning from home schedule, so I wanted to show you how it's going to be different. So in Blooms, you got a link to this video and a link to my uh, weekly work and homework web page. And here you have uh, a link to uh, the new daily schedule that we're pushing out to all students. I'm gonna put that on my Google Classroom for science so kids can have their own copy that they can edit uh, a little bit. And as always, I've got a list of assignments that kids are working on from last week and this week. Uh, the daily schedule is what's important. Here we have a Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday plan. And then Wednesday is a little different because Wednesdays are our flex day. Uh, kids are still working and we're still available, Mr. Brennan, Miss Berg and I, for office hours. But there's no uh, live meet or Zoom that they have to join. Now, on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, and that means tomorrow, we want kids waking up early. I know I, I, I know some kids aren't used to that, but we want them to get back into that feel of school. Cohorts A and B only had to wake up early two days a week, but let's make it five. Let's do that. Get them into this habit. Uh, so we've got an 8 o'clock wake-up time, and then at 8.45, every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, Ms. Berg, Mr. Brennan, and I will hold a whole group Zoom. And we're using Zoom because it allows us to have over 50 kids. So we want all 57 of our sixth graders there. So we can do a launch of that day. Then we've got uh, a schedule here, which puts in movement breaks for kids so they're not just sitting in front of their screen the whole time. And really it's about an hour of work time uh, or, or hour and 15 minutes for each session. And work time here for these three, kids can choose when they want to do math, when they want to do science, when they want to do English language arts and social studies, but we ask that they do all three every day. Then that 1.30 uh, time is when we have our second live Zoom of the day, where it's, uh, it's going to be me on Mondays for science, Miss Berg on Tuesdays for English language arts and social studies, Mr. Brennan on Thursday. Uh, for math. And then Friday, we're going to do a special thing, which we're going to launch on Friday. So that's a surprise for the kids. Um, but if you follow this schedule, your kids will have like a regular school day type schedule. And they get two chances to work with the entire sixth grade group. Okay. And we'll do zooms on those so we can have big groups. And then throughout the day during their work times, they can, uh, pop in to Mr. Brennan and Ms. Berg's open Google Meets, or they can message me on Classcraft like they have been doing, because most of the time I can help them right there. And if they need to do a Google Meet with me, I'll just schedule it right there, pop in the link, and we'll do it. Um, but that's it. Now, if you scroll down, you'll see the Wednesday. It's very similar. The only difference is we don't have that 845 kickoff, and we don't have the 130 uh, meet. Um, but they also have a time here at 2.30 for their specialist time. So we're going to do this for a little while um, until everything's back to being safe. And this is going to work wonderfully. Cohort C kids, like I said last week, you guys have been doing this. Cohort A and B, you've had three days a week every week to practice this. So you're ready to do it five days a week. Um, you know, message me on Blooms if you have any questions or email me. I'm here to, to take any questions and let's do this. Let's get started tomorrow. We want to see all your kids there at 845. All right, thanks. Have a great Sunday. I hope you had an awesome Thanksgiving.